Hello children, welcome back. Today we will learn one more topic of English. Today we are going to learn about conjunctions. They are also known as joining words. So come, let's board the train and understand what are conjunctions. So let's begin the class. Till now we have learned different parts of speech. Let us revise them once. Nouns, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition and interjections. Now, let us learn the eighth part of speech that is conjunctions. Conjunctions are the joining words that connect words, phrases, clauses or sentences together. They are also known as joining words or connectors. There are three different types of conjunctions, children. Okay, let us see them one by one. Coordinating conjunctions, subordinating conjunctions or the correlative conjunctions. But today, we are only going to learn about coordinating conjunctions. Remember, children, that there are Seven different types of coordinating conjunctions. Let us see them all and learn them first of all. First of all, we will start with for. Next, coordinating conjunctions and. Third one is nor. Fourth is but. Fifth is or. Now, let us see the sixth one. It is yet and the last seventh coordinating conjunction is so. When all these conjunctions are put together, we can form a mnemonic called fanboy. See, we can remember all the coordinating conjunctions when we will put all the initial letters of these conjunctions together as fanboys. Okay, now let us move further and see the work of these coordinating conjunctions individually. The first one is for. Okay, let us start with this. For helps us to join the clauses, phrases and the sentences that show reasons. For example, Thomas will be late to work for he has a dental appointment. Here you can clearly see that for is used when we are giving a reason for Thomas being late to work today. Let us move further and see the second coordinating conjunction. Okay, children. It is and. Now, let us see the usage of and. And helps us to join the clauses, phrases or the words with the same idea. For example, she bought a shirt and a book. Okay. So, here we are joining two words. Shirt and a book. Here you can clearly see that and is used to join two words with the same idea. Now, let's understand the usage of our third coordinating conjunction that is nor. Okay. Let us see how it helps us to join the clauses, phrases or the words. They help us to join the clauses, phrases or words that express negativity. How are we going to find negative sentences? Whenever we see that a sentence contains not, not, it tells us that the sentence is negative. Does not, do not, cannot, 
will not are all the examples of negative sentences. Now, let us see this through one of the example. Sara doesn't like apples nor does she like pears. Okay. So, see, Sara is very sad. She is crying also because she does not like apples nor does she like pears. So, both the sentences are negative in nature because of which we can use nor as the joining word over here. Thanks children for joining me. In our next class, we will learn about few more conjunctions. Till then, bye-bye.